Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and this week we have another double patching quick tip. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. Quick word of warning to anyone who's watching this video. Um, if you're watching it on a device that only has one speaker, um, probably not going to really do a whole lot for you except for show you the concept. Uh, today we're going to be doing things that require you to hear it in stereo to really get the full effect. So, yep, yeah, make sure you, uh, you listen to this on some nice headphones or speakers and you will be good to go. So last week we talked about double patching. And uh, we gave a really quick example as if you needed to send the same input to two separate channels. So we had a channel that was set up for a little girl who would be singing and a channel set up for a man who would be um, uh, giving announcements and just speaking, wouldn't need any effects or anything on him. Both of them were on the same microphone, um, but with totally different settings. Um, so today we're going to do kind of the same thing, but with guitars. Um, but we're going to uh, make a guitar uh, sound like it's got two people playing it. Um, so uh, if, if we were in a church that normally has two electric guitarists um, and it sounds nice and full, you would get something that sounds like this. So here's a, a, a little snippet of a city worship project that just came out. These are some of the guitar tracks for Your Name. So what we're hearing there is um, two tracks that are panned hard left and hard right um, that are being played by, uh, by well, it's the same person, but two different times um, with two different guitars, two different guitar amps. And so you've got this, um, this really nice thick sound that's happening. Um, one's a little bit uh, higher and thinner. One's a little bit darker and thicker. And, uh, and they create this really lush sound when you have them mixed in with everything. But let's say that uh, you normally have that on Sunday, but um, you know for whatever reason someone's uh, become sick or something like that, and they don't show up on Sunday morning, and you just have to make one guitar work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guitar and we're going to patch it into both of these channels, and uh, and apply some effects to make it um, seem like there's two people playing it. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the double patching. So like we did last week. We're going to click on our home tab and then our config tab. And then we are going to see the source that we're using right now. So looking at guitar one, the source is card 20. Um, so it's coming from my computer down channel 20. If we look at the second guitar, you can see it's coming out of channel 21. And in this example, there wouldn't be any sound coming from 21. So we're going to switch it to be channel 20. So now we've got the same exact signal going to both these uh, channels. So it's going to sound like this. Sounds okay, but it's really not doing anything um, like what we had with two guitars because it's the exact same signal. There's nothing differentiating these two. One's panned hard left, one's panned hard right, but that's the only difference. So what we're going to do today, really basic, is we're going to take this uh, Guitar 2 channel and we are going to add some delay to that channel. And without even using an effects unit, we're using the built-in channel delay that's on here. Really important, if you're going to do this, make sure that the next week when the second guitarist is there, that you turn this off and that you turn it back to the correct input um, so that you can have him or her like they should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of delay. I've preset this to be 20 milliseconds. You can play around with what's going to be best for you. Um, but the nice thing about 20 milliseconds is that um, it's kind of the point where people start to actually notice uh, that there's a delay happening. Um, so anything less than that, you run into the risk of having people um, run into more noticeable phasing. And you're going to have phasing no matter what. This is part of the reason why you have to do this in a stereo system um, because your ears will, will make up for the phasing when you're hearing them hard left and hard right like this. Um, so what's going to happen is this second guitar is going to be slightly behind in time from the first guitar. And it's going to um, pull the stereo image so it doesn't feel like it's right in the center anymore, but it's going to feel like they're a little bit separated to the left and right like we had when we had two guitarists. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the delay off, and then I'm going to uh, put both those guitars in so you can hear what they sound like dead center. Um, well, hard left, hard right, but they're going to sound like the dead center. And then once we put the delay on, you'll hear that they're going to pull to the sides a little bit. Here we go. So that's with the delay in. Here's with it out. Here's back in the center. And then back with the delay. So really, really basic, but it's just pulling them out to the sides a little bit. Um, now, once you've done that, you can go through and make some other changes. Uh, for example, right now I have the exact same EQ on both these guitars. Um, to make them sound different from each other, I would probably do the opposite on the second channel. So where this is pulled down, maybe I would pull that up a bit. And where this is boosted, I'd probably cut it a little bit. Um, just to kind of make them sound different from each other, apart from just the timing. Uh, you can also do things like change up some of the compression uh, or change up, uh, maybe have a little bit more reverb on one guitar than the other. Little things like that will, uh, will go a long way. And again, do not forget that once you're done with that, uh, that one week where you only have the one guitarist, that you go back through and again, you turn the delay off and you put the source back to where it should be um, or else you're going to have a problem if you forget those two things. Um, so even if you put this back and then left the delay on, your other guitarist is going to be confused when they come in and they feel like they're off time all, all the time. Well, that would be why. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share, and come back here every Tuesday for new information. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.